Genesis chapter 35. And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel, and dwell there, and make there an altar unto God, that appeared unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother. Then Jacob said unto his household, and to all that were with him, Put away the strange gods that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments. And let us arise, and go up to Bethel, and I will make there an altar unto God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hand, and all their earrings which were in their ears, and Jacob hid them under the oak which was by Shechem. And they journeyed, and the terror of God was upon the cities that were round about them, and they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. So Jacob came to Luz, which is in the land of Canaan, that is, Bethel, he and all the people that were with him. And he built there an altar, and called the place El Bethel, because their God appeared unto him, when he fled from the face of his brother. But Deborah Rebekah's nurse died, and she was buried beneath Bethel under an oak, and the name of it was called Alan Bashuth. And God appeared unto Jacob again, when he came out of Paddan Aram, and blessed him. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob, thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name, and he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply, a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac, to thee I will give it, and to thy seed after thee will I give the land. And God went up from him in the place where he talked with him. And Jacob set up a pillar in the place where he talked with him, even a pillar of stone, and he poured a drink offering thereon, and he poured oil thereon. And Jacob called the name of the place where God spake with him, Bethel, and they journeyed from Bethel, and there was but a little way to come to Ephrath, and Rachel travailed, and she had hard labor. And it came to pass, when she was in hard labor, that the midwife said unto her, Fear not, thou shalt have this son also. And it came to pass, as her soul was in departing, for she died, that she called his name Benoni, but his father called him Benjamin. And Rachel died, and was buried in the way to Ephrath, which is Bethlehem. And Jacob set a pillar upon her grave, that is the pillar of Rachel's grave unto this day. And Israel journeyed, and spread his tent beyond the tower of Eder. And it came to pass, when Israel dwelt in that land, that Reuben went and lay with Bilhah his father's concubine, and Israel heard it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve. The sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Zebulun. The sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin. And the sons of Bilhah, Rachel's handmaid, Dan, and Naphtali. And the sons of Zilpah, Leah's handmaid, Gad, and Asher, these are the sons of Jacob, which were born to him in Paddan Aram. And Jacob came unto Isaac his father unto Mamre, unto the city of Arba, which is Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac sojourned. And the days of Isaac were an hundred and fourscore years. And Isaac gave up the ghost, and died, and was gathered unto his people, being old and full of days, and his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. Genesis chapter 36. Now these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Esau took his wives of the daughters of Canaan, Ada the daughter of Elon the Hittite, and Aholabama the daughter of Anna the daughter of Zibion the Hivite. And Bashamath Ishmael's daughter, sister of Nebajoth. And Ada bare to Esau Eliphaz, and Bashamath bare Ruel. And Aholabama bare Jeish, and Jalam, and Korah, these are the sons of Esau, which were born unto him in the land of Canaan. And Esau took his wives, and his sons, and his daughters, and all the persons of his house, and his cattle, and all his beasts, and all his substance, which he had got in the land of Canaan, and went into the country from the face of his brother Jacob. For their riches were more than that they might dwell together, and the land wherein they were strangers could not bear them because of their cattle. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir, Esau is Edom. And these are the generations of Esau the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. These are the names of Esau's sons, Eliphaz the son of Adah the wife of Esau, Ruel the son of Bashamath the wife of Esau. And the sons of Eliphaz were Teman, Omar, Zepho, and Gatam, and Kenaz. And Timnah was concubine to Eliphaz Esau's son, and she bare to Eliphaz Amalek, these were the sons of Adah Esau's wife. And these are the sons of Ruel, Nahath, and Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah, these were the sons of Bashamath Esau's wife. And these were the sons of Aholabama, 
the daughter of Anna the daughter of Zibion, Esau's wife, and she bare to Esau Jeish, and Jalam, and Korah. These were dukes of the sons of Esau, the sons of Eliphaz the firstborn son of Esau, Duke Teman, Duke Omar, Duke Zepho, Duke Kenas. Duke Korah, Duke Gatam, and Duke Amalek, these are the dukes that came of Eliphaz in the land of Edom, these were the sons of Ada. And these are the sons of Ruel Esau's son, Duke Nahath, Duke Zerah, Duke Shama, Duke Mizah, these are the dukes that came of Ruel in the land of Edom, these are the sons of Bashamath Esau's wife. And these are the sons of Aholabama Esau's wife, Duke Jeish, Duke Jalam, Duke Korah, these were the dukes that came of Aholabama the daughter of Anna, Esau's wife. These are the sons of Esau, who is Edom, and these are their dukes. These are the sons of Seir the Harite, who inhabited the land, Lotan, and Shobal, and Zibion, and Anna. And Dishon, and Ezer, and Dishon, these are the dukes of the Horites, the children of Seir in the land of Edom. And the children of Lotan were Hori and Hemam, and Lotan's sister was Timnah. And the children of Shobal were these, Alvin, and Manahath, and Ebal, Shepho, and Onam. And these are the children of Zibion, both Aja, and Anna, this was that Anna that found the mules in the wilderness, as he fed the asses of Zibion his father. And the children of Anna were these, Dishon, and Aholabama the daughter of Anna. And these are the children of Dishon, Hemdan, and Eshbon, and Ithron, and Sharon. The children of Ezer are these, Bilhan, and Zavan, and Akan. The children of Dishon are these, Uz, and Aaron. These are the dukes that came of the Horites, Duke Lotan, Duke Shobal, Duke Zibion, Duke Anna. Duke Dishon, Duke Ezer, Duke Dishon, these are the dukes that came of Hori, among their dukes in the land of Seir. And these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom, before there reigned any king over the children of Israel. And Bela the son of Baor reigned in Edom, and the name of his city was Dinhaba. And Bela died, and Jobab the son of Zerah of Basra reigned in his stead. And Jobab died, and Husham of the land of Tamani reigned in his stead. And Husham died, and Hadad the son of Bedad, who smote Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Abath. And Hadad died, and Samla of Masrekah reigned in his stead. And Samla died, and Saul of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his stead. And Saul died, and Balan and the son of Achber reigned in his stead. And Balan and the son of Achber died, and Hadar reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Pau, and his wife's name was Mehedabil, the daughter of Matrid, the daughter of Mazahab. And these are the names of the dukes that came of Esau, according to their families, after their places, by their names, Duke Timnah, Duke Alva, Duke Jetheth. Duke Aholabama, Duke Elah, Duke Pinyon. Duke Kenaz, Duke Teman, Duke Mibzar. Duke Magdil, Duke Iram, these be the dukes of Edom, according to their habitations in the land of their possession. He is Esau the father of the Edomites. Matthew chapter 12 verses 1 through 21. At that time Jesus went on the Sabbath day through the corn, and his disciples were in hunger, and began to pluck the ears of corn and to eat. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto him, Behold, thy disciples do that which is not lawful to do upon the Sabbath day. But he said unto them, Have ye not read what David did, when he was in hunger, and they that were with him? How he entered into the house of God, and did eat the showbread, which was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them which were with him, but only for the priests. Or have ye not read in the law, how that on the Sabbath days the priests in the temple profane the Sabbath, and are blameless? But I say unto you, that in this place is one greater than the temple. But if ye had known what this meaneth, I will have mercy, and not sacrifice, ye would not have condemned the guiltless. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. And when he was departed thence, he went into their synagogue. And, behold, there was a man which had his hand withered. And they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days? That they might accuse him. And he said unto them, What man shall there be among you, that shall have one sheep, and if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, will he not lay hold on it, and lift it out? How much then is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath days. Then saith he to the man, Stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched it forth, and it was restored whole, like as the other. Then the Pharisees went out, and held a council against him, how they might destroy him. 
But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew himself from thence, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all. And charged them that they should not make him known. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Esaias the prophet, saying, Behold my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved, in whom my soul is well pleased, I will put my spirit upon him, and he shall show judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not strive, nor cry, neither shall any man hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed shall he not break, and smoking flax shall he not quench, till he send forth judgment unto victory. And in his name shall the Gentiles trust. Psalms chapter 15. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly, and worketh righteousness, and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. In whose eyes a vile person is contemned, but he honoureth them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth to his own hurt, and changeth not. He that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 21 through 26. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes, keep sound wisdom and discretion, so shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck. Then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid, yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked, when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken.